Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the simple MVC database project with Ktinker. Um, this time I want to go over some code as an example of how to create a database using SQL Lite 3. For starters we have to import the module and also imported OS because I want to use os.system.clear. This is just to clear the uh, terminal every time I run the code so it's not so messy like it used to be in the previous project. But anyways, we import SQLite 3. So first things first, we need to create a variable that can connect to a database. For that we use sqlite3.connect and then type in the name of the database. If our database already exists, this line of code will be used to connect to the database. However, if the database does not already exist, it will create it. So in a way this works to create our database which is simply a wrapper to hold tables that contain our data. On the second active line, we create a cursor using con, our variable, dot cursor. Cursors are objects used to edit and work in the database. So every time you want to access a database's tables or do anything, that re anything code related with them, you have to create a cursor, and that's every time you execute a function or code regarding any edit you want to make. Now here's the hard part. We have to create a table within our database. So here I'm creating a table with the name testing and I'm using c.execute in order to execute a command. The name of the command is create table which is a built-in um, argument for SQL. So whenever SQ execute is called, SQ SQL will look for the command create table to create it. If not exists, it's called in order to create the table only once. Basically, if you don't put if not exists in your code, then you will have to comment this entire line of code out. Because once the database has been created, it doesn't need to try to create the database again. So I'm going to run this and show you, but this argument here, if not exists, basically says create the table if a table is not already there and that's and by that I mean the table with the name testing which is the first table I want to try out now inside testing I've created a parentheses that has three items so this table will have a space to put a first name a last name and an email all three of them being a text a object and this is how we can create our table using this format. If you want to learn more about this, you can Google SQL commands or just look up the SQLite 3 documentation on their website. I'll have a link to that in the description box below. Now this is how we create a table. So say we want to add items to a table. For that we have this line of code c.execute so it's calling the c object once more our cursor that is and this time we're using the argument insert into the database I mean the table testing values so we'll add in values which means it will access these three parameters within our table and for the first name which will be the first item it in inputs we will put, the, put in the first name random the second one which will be the last name it will put in boy and then for the email it will put in this random email I've created that's not actually my email by the way and yes this is all within um, a string but SQL, SQL will read through the string in order to find the keywords it needs and then finally, in order to pull data from a database, so say all your data is already in there, you can use the following. Again, cursor.execute, select everything from our table called testing. And once everything is selected, we can create a variable where it will fetch everything from the cursor. So now that we've told the cursor to select everything, it will fetch it all using the fetch function 
which has three ways of using it. You can use fetch one to fetch one item. You have to use a argument in the fetch one to tell it which one it needs to grab by the index value. Fetch many to fetch multiple items. Again, you have to put the index argument to grab multiple items and then fetch all. You don't need an argument. It will grab everything from the database. And in this case, I'm using a for loop to simply print out all three of the items in the database. And every time you need to close, every time you've done the use of your cursor, you have to commit any changes you've made. So con.commit, and then you have to close the connection to the database. And basically that's the code I've written so far for day one. This is just a sample in our main.py, which is our model I know in the previous video the model was supposed to be something separate from the SQLite script but after thinking it over a bit I'm going to use the model to create the SQLite and then the what's it called a model view yeah, for the controller will be the database itself so let me try to that's not what I want to do. Comment the pull out. Actually, no, hang on. Let's just create a database first. And then. We will try to see if there's anything in the database. Because before we put anything into the values, I just want to create an empty database and then see what's inside it using the pull function, I mean the pull lines of code that I have. So as of right now, to create the database, it will, actually you can see it right here, the database will be created in the same directory that our main.py script is located in. So when I run this, we get our database first try so let me show you it here first try it's a database file and it has eight kilobytes of data and when we run it nothing was pulled out because there's nothing in it but let me insert some values but let me not show them just yet show these values after I've changed after I've saved the changes into the database so let me run this again and after running it our database is still 8 kilobytes so it doesn't look like it's changed anything but now let me comment out the input and Let's see what we find inside the database now that we're going to call all the information within it. So we run it again, and this time it prints out the first, last name, and email from the database by calling in lines 34, 37, 39, and 40. And if I were to simply ask it to print out the first name, it only print out the first name and yeah it can do the same for the second and third basically you get the idea so this is how databases work the very basics of databases in Python using SQLite 3 I will go over more complex functionality such as how to delete databases or tables within databases and yeah line 27 because it's using the if not exists argument it does not create any errors when creating a tape when this line is called even though a table already exists so this is what I want to go over for right now I'm not going to go over any GUI graphical interfaces with Ktinker just yet I'm going to wait until a lot of the back end is done and as we go on I will modify the flowchart that I created in the last video that shows how the MVC works I want to still look up on how look up on sorry not look up I want to work on how this is gonna end up 
for the final version of this project, so yeah, in the meantime, I'm not going to be doing much else. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something from this, and next video, I will organize this entire script a little bit more neatly. I will actually create functions that handle all of the uh, database creation, database inputs, database um, pulls, as well as de database delete functions so that they can be used with a Ktinger GUI in the future. Anyways, peace out guys, see you in the next one.